Hello there and welcome to Lower 6 Maths A Level Practice Paper 8. Here we're working on question 10, a bearings question. The diagram shows the position of three boats, P, Q and R. The boat from Q is from P is 7 kilometres with on a bearing of 327. So that means this bearing round to here, that's going to be 327. So what we'll have left over inside this angle here is going to be 33 degrees. Uh, the other bearing is on a bearing of 41. So that's from P round to R as a bearing of 41. Uh, find the distance of Q to R to one decimal place. OK, so I'm thinking triangle here. We've got one side, the angle in between and the other side. This is uh, screaming out to me to use the cosine rules. So A squared. We're going to label this side as A equals B squared. We're going to label this side as B. B and C can be interchanged. Uh, A has to be the one at the top. Uh, C is going to be this side here. So it's plus C squared minus 2BC cos of capital A. And capital A, if this is little a over here, capital A is this angle here. Uh, so that angle there is going to be 74 in total. So uh, a squared is going to equal 7 squared, substituting in our numbers now, add 15 squared, take away 2 lots of 7 times 15 times cos of 74. Okay, so then reach for your calculator and type in this expression here. So p squared or a squared is going to come to 216. 0.11 and square root that a number there using the answer button on your calculator and we get 14.7 to one decimal place. This is our value from Q to R. Okay, great. <clears throat> Next one, find the three figure bearing of R from Q. So if we're from Q, then we're going to need this angle round here. Um, 2r. So we want this angle here. Um, what we can um, what we can get from here is that we will have a z angle here. So we'll have this angle in here of 33. So yeah, just draw that z angle on. If you go down, put draw a line down south from Q. Draw in your z, and you'll get a 33 here and a third from the 33 here. Um, is there a possible way of working out this angle here? Well, I've got some bits on my triangle. I've got the opposite side of the triangle, that's C. I've got this part here, that's um, that's capital A, and that's A over there. So I'm thinking maybe sine rule, because I've got an opposite side and its angle. So if I'm finding the, um, the angle up here, that's going to be sine of C over little c, equals sine a over little a. Um, so sine of c, that's what we want to work out, over little c, that was 15, equals sine of 74 over 14.7. Uh, if I've still got 14.7 in my calculator from before, I'm going to be using the answer button there on my calculator. So be really careful to do that. So from here, I'm going to get that sine of C equals 15 lots of sine 74 over 14.7. <clears throat> so grab your calculator. And what you're going to get there is that uh, when you do the, when you calculate that and you do the inverse sine, so sin minus one of this, so you can do sin minus one of this answer on the right hand side, what you're going to get there is 78.77. So that's not our final answer, so that, no, me now, so that means that we now know this angle here, we know the C angle here. So what we want to do is therefore, if we're working around from north to south on the point Q there, it's 180 degrees 
take away the 30 degree, 33 degree angle from the Z angle and take away the 78.77 angle we used before. I would be using the answer button on my calculator here. Uh, we get uh, rounding to a whole, uh, a whole number, we get 0 0.68 as the bearing of Q of R from Q. Okay, so that's question 10, 10 marks.